Missing some key players. And we're off. Ooh, a false, a false start call, I think. Oh, and it's a brooms down already. First brooms down of the match. False start, I think. All right, great. I should have posted that earlier. How are you, Age? Oh, we're back. We're coming back in now. We're coming back in now. We seem to have lost Snaz. Our uh, timer set up. I'm going to try to get that going again. England racing down the field. Takes a beat, double beat, but that opens the way for England number 20 to score. Excellent, thank you kindly, thank you kindly. Our wonderful camera person, control command, command control, command tab, there we go, command tab. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, time is fixed up. Oh, no, it isn't. It's the Australian time. Ah, oh, dang it. What a professional start to the stream, and just after I posted it. <laughs> uh, close. Excellent start. We're just getting some technical stuff sorted. Don't worry about it. All right, we're back. All right, and we're back. So, whew, here we are, grand final of EG 2022. Apologies for the rough start. We've just been picking up out of the Australian semi-final. And of course, it's an Australian stream, so we were celebrating. But now we're here in the grand final. Germany running the ball around the hoops. They're looking for openings. They haven't found one just yet. They've made, they find a high pass, but they don't find the hoop. Germany doing good work here to try and retain bludges. They're not going to. England, very, very quick feet there from England number four. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone who uh, knows the UK or the Germans too well. So apologies to any European uh, viewers. This, this is mainly being run for the benefit of Euros. Uh, you know, in case you guys want a, a, second, a second angle on the camera. In case the Germans want to review their, their, the strats, in case the English want to review their strats. Want to review the game in post. Oh, that hoop is getting trashed. The ball doesn't quite find its mark. The beat is on, but now there's no boot. Oh, no beat is now. And he makes that beautiful jump. Beautiful jump, beautiful jump. I believe that's 20, 20 nil. I'm just going to bring up the... Uh, bring up Quidditch Live in the side. Unfortunately, our stream here, we don't have it set up to uh, do score. Um, it's a lot of 20 nil to England. Big bludger tussle. It looks like England's going to clean up the bludgers. And it looks like... It looks like Germany has no bludgers left. They're going to have one bludger in defense, but is it there in time? It is not. And that's 30 nil to England, off to a very early lead. If I'm not mistaken, an early lead is what happened last time. This is, of course, the second time that England and Germany have played in, uh, in this tournament. They played earlier on, and Germany eked out the win. The story as I have it was that England pulled ahead at the start, Germany managed to stabilize, and then during snitch on pitch, Germany started steamrolling. We're going to see if, we can re if uh, Germany will be able to repeat that today. 
Not if England has anything to say about it. Blocking that ball. Ball, long shot. It's straight into the reliable hands of England number 20. That's the second shot like that that he's caught. Not a long shot, but uh, the second the second beautiful clean pass that he's caught, rather. English, uh, German beaters here doing good work, collecting those bludges. Excellent work from uh, Germany 14. Of course, the Australians are all too familiar with the skill of these German beaters. Pick set on the keeper there. Doesn't find, doesn't uh, manage to work. German bludger going to the back of the... Oh, and Germany ball on the board! What a beautiful little pop, pop, pop! Seb Waters decides not to push that. I believe that's Seb Waters. Correct me if I'm wrong. Kit! Kit! Thank you for subbing. I just saw that. I hope that wasn't too long ago that you did that. Back down to Seb. Comes down to the backfield. He doesn't find an opening yet. There's a bludger in front of him. He goes high. And that's going to be a reset. Ooh, it's a reset to nobody. Ouch, that hurts. That's a turnover, and there's gonna be there's gonna be one bludger in the way. And we're back, we're back now. Oh, and a shot and a score! It was a close one, but he sunk it off the top rim of the hoop. England, the English beater recovering his bludger now. That's going to be comfortably recovered. Germany resetting their ball just to keep it safe. England, the English empty beater, uh, unarmed beater is going to stay float. Germany are pressing high. England didn't cross the restrictor line, so they're not using their reset by doing this, by just sinking hard. Germany throws their bludger back. That English beater is going for it, and they're going to take the opportunity. And that's no... Hall pass, hall pass, not managing to, uh, well, well, clearly a bit flustered by that move. He's saying that the, I think he's saying that the hoop was intentionally dislodged, but the ref says otherwise. The ref says the goal is no good. Ball is going to stay in German hands. The keeper who picked it up. Long bludger there, it's not gonna... Germany look like they might be able to recover it, but might not. At any rate, oh, he catches! He catches, which means a no bludger situation. And Germany capitalizes. Beautiful sprint, sprint, sprint in. And he's asking for the, to be played up. No, he's asking for a sub. It looked like he was gloating. He just wanted a rest. This isn't boasting, it's, it's bashfulness. He's asking for a deep play from Brett. Brett going real far down. Interesting here. I think they're asking to try get bludger control. The beat does not land. Oh, and a huge turnaround now. 16 sprinting it down. Oh, beautiful pass. Straight alley up. Alley up. Beautiful alley up there. German beaters retaining control, sitting very high in the field here. Andrew Hull on the field now in the center for England. New keeper coming in as well for England. Twist coming down the side. Hull missing the catch. And the bend. Oh, beautiful hit there from Germany. Oh, big hit there. Let's, uh... Bit of an injury, so we're back to commentator cam. Commentator cam's variety hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, a little bit of an injury, so we're just going to cut away from that. Very fast-paced game already. Wowie! Very intense beta plays. England are having... What are they doing? What are they doing? They have real wide plays. Their plays are spreading really far out. Big shots, like really powerful, accurate throws there, passing the ball, those uh, neat little pass shot 
hybrids where you take a shot at the goal, someone runs behind. Um, I don't... Well, that, but from the back. Interesting play there where they ran around the back, shot at the hoops to try and pick it up on the front. Uh, it looks like they're tech checking this player for a concussion, so we're just not going to worry too much about that. Hooey! I feel like this game has been so fast-paced that it doesn't feel like there are much in the way of set plays. Uh, obviously, that must be false. Uh, they're coming off now. And apologies if my Australian eyes are a bit unused to um, English plays. I haven't seen English play too many times just yet. And we're back. Huge sprint down the field from a lot of the uh, UK players getting into position. Big pass over the top. It finds 18's hands. And the bludger finds him too. What a beat. Incredible. Germany pacing down the field. He's going to need to wait for his players to get into position. Takes the pass down to the wing. The wing doesn't have much better options. He can... Oh, that 44 chaser. Bringing it out wide to the... night. Oh, good, good, good. Excuse me, this is too fast for even my manic auctioneer persona to keep up with. The ball hanging up the front. There's a bludger tussle down the back. Germany are going to try and recover that. England ends up recovering the bludger, but Germany gets the goal. England gets the... Uh, Germany gets the goal. That was really nice work. Uh, a risky play there from the German beater, running in to try and free the tussle, forcing, forcing the English beater to play on him, which opens the way for the Germans to, for the, uh, for the German chasers to attack. But he's basically forcing a beat on himself, which is extremely risky. They managed to get their blood just back in time and not get punished in a goal. They did lose the blood. They did lose control. But you know they didn't really have it, right? Because they were, they were. Oh, and what a shot! <laughs> And this is a, a lot of a lot of chat. That hoop, look how far that hoop flew. That hoop was projected by a quaffle. They're not that heavy. I mean they're heavy, but they're not like that, right? Look at that cheering in the back left. Oh my time is wrong. Goal is called good. I hear, uh, I, I hear the timekeeping bench. I might just get my, uh... Well, this is a family-friendly stream, so we won't repeat language like that. All right, we're back up now. Subbing for the German line. New chasers, two new beaters, a whole new beater set. Ball coming back to Troll in the center. He takes the step. Doesn't try and make anything with it. Not very productive. Germany has a... Uh, they're chasing down the back. He's looking for an opening. He's going to find it! He does find it! Germany are also going to find some bludgers. Huge pressure here from Germany. Andrew Hull flicks the ball out. Oh, it doesn't... He hits a player who is dismounted at the moment. Ooh, we're going to see what that is. That's interesting. I mean, I think they're going to call that as interacting while dismounted. I think they're going to call that as interacting while dismounted. Twist, I'm expecting you a lemon twist in the chat a little bit earlier. And I'm apologizing. I apologize if... Uh, but, uh, but I think they're going to call against that. Yeah. Even though it was like very incidental in my opinion. Very, very incidental. Troll here has no passes. He's got a beater right on top of him, hole right in front of him, twist right next to him. But there's three hoops. Hole can only block. Oh, he goes for the... Wow, beautiful take there, beautiful take. He tried to push through. He probably didn't have any room to do anything else. I'm sure he would have taken the best option available. Harrington tried to pressure, doesn't succeed. Oh, beautiful take there. Shot on the front of the hoop. Not finding anything. Hobbs stopping that in its tracks. 
Harrington not making, managing to make that steal. German beaters walking in, taking it down to the left wing. Doesn't decide to do anything with it. Oh, what a nice drive. No goal though. A hand did come through the hoop, but it didn't do, didn't knock the ball. So it's not goaltending. Big beats in the back here. 10 minutes on game time. We're going to fix our timer. No, we're not. The action is too fast. If the team could, yeah, that's good. Do that for a bit. Throw the ball around while I fix the timer. Okay, good. Apologies, folks. I never, I've never been accused of being a professional. Ball's coming back here. Oh, it's in the... It doesn't find anything. It finds JKP. He hits one person. He passes forward. It doesn't quite find number eight. She smacks it back. And she's going to be called playing on after beat, I believe. Back to Andrew Hull. And there's no beaters in his way. There's one, two players in his way. Maybe they can stop him. But he's got Twist right there. He gets the pass off to Twist. He does not get the pass to Twist. Twist collects it. He's coming down the field. Pa forward pass, beautiful. Oh, what an incredible pass. Five points to Twist. Five points to Brett, number 18 from England. Incredible here. We're on 60 all. That might become 60, 70 in a second. Popper comes back to the center here. Fauner now on in keeper. Six all, 11.35 is the time and score. Big shot here. 15 manages to reset. He's going to swap bludgers. Harrington is going to manip is going to move the bludgers around to keep Germany out of the defense, which was a wise move. Created a little window, but Germany weren't able to capitalize. And Seb Waters picks that up. Chooses not to do anything. Two bludgers in the German defense. Beautiful little beat there from Burgers. The ball's now on the ground. Picked up by 99 Germany. 98 Germany, rather. Big shot, doesn't find it. All righty. Oh, big on. Yes. Oh, what a block. He picks it up. He makes the second attempt. I've been streaming all day. I'm just now improving my setup. Pause in the game here. We're on 60-70. We might update that. We've uh, got a broom change over here. And the crowd are loving this. We're back in now. England here with a high, with a too high defense. Two down back at the hoops. Bludges, medium distance from the from the hoops. The glass comes in for a pick on Seb. That not pro not doesn't produce produce anything. Pardon me. Long pass to the back. Bludger does not find its target. JKP takes a shot. It doesn't succeed. He brings it in. Oh, what a beautiful dunk from Germany 98. From Heinz. Heinz. Big shot there from I think that's uh, Frankel. Oh, what a bit! Oh, and kicking in danger.
Elias, what do you think of the game so far? High energy, lots of, <laughs> lots going on. Very, very quick passes. Really enjoying it. Do you have, do you have a, a pick? I mean, I should be unbiased, right? No, no, commentary is, is exempt, especially this stream. <laughs> this stream is exempt from bias. Absolutely. Scientist or not, driving it down the field, and he finds a hook! <laughs> Remembering, of course, Nathan Morton, uh, uh, superstar avatar of Team Australia, made the prediction. If this game was in swim, if it was in if it was in snitch range when the snitch came out, he predicted Germany. Otherwise, he predicted England. So it all comes down in his mind to whether England can get out of range. That is not happening so far. Germany are up seven to eight. Con pressure here from the. Uh oh, and he scores! Beautiful, beautiful. Big pressure coming on here from Frankel. No, not Frankel. Huge pressure coming on here from the German beaters. Oh, he misses the catch. There's no bludgers in the German half. Fauna retreating hard. Forward pass. Wow, forward pass behind to the back of the beaters. He takes his scores! Incredible. Great choice there. Great, great choice. He feigned a retreat. Hard, hard retreat. Pass forward behind the beaters for a score. Incredible. Another napalm coming in at 1.5. Ball comes into the flank. We haven't seen the ball go to that flank many times, but we have seen the ball go to the back there. It does not find its mark. Obviously, the German keeper, Forner, has seen that pass as well. Ball comes to the center with Troll as they're subbing. And lots of subs here. Big shot. Finds nothing. Unfortunate for Troll there. And we got a brooms down. What a game. Oh, wow. Interesting. 9-8, I believe. Let me double check that. 9-8 for Germany. Interesting. Germany, they're both teams are playing such a speedy game here. What do I have to say about it? Wow, I don't know. What do I have to say about it? <sighs> Incredibly fast-paced speed to play here. Uh, I feel like I've not seen a lot of variety in the English beaters. So they might, they seems like they're playing, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, the pieces are blown together, the hooks are a bit far away. Again, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not like, super extremely experienced in these teams. Germany have a lot of energy. They're feeling really good about this. Whatever it was in the last game that put England in the lead sort of isn't happening now. Germany think they've clocked it. And we're back. Seb Waters taking it down the field. Brett on the right wing. Right wing. Harrison beating in the back. Doesn't manage to find an opening. Gets beat out too quickly. Brett makes the make the sideways drive. Doesn't find anything. Brings it back. Interesting. Interesting. I'd love to hear what that was about. Whether he's trying to draw a beat, an opportunity for beat, bludger control. But they don't have their beaters in. He looks. He's looking for an opening. He doesn't find one. He passes that to Brett on the wing. Comes back to the center. The British beaters are back in now, so they're looking for those bludgers. They're missing a chaser though. Brings it back out to the same side with Halpas. Back to Waters. Missing a hoop now. He's got that chaser down the back, number six. Horizontal pass. England aren't, too, aren't really finding anything here. They're getting a lot more conservative. Back to the center. Such a slow play here. I think they're looking for bludgers. Out to hell pass. Water's dismounted, but he's not going back to hoops. That bludger pressures up. The bludger finally commits, but the ball gets intercepted. Woo! Troll saving the ball. Ha <laughs> ha, what a great save. Coming up the field now. Roll off with the ball. 40, uh, Germany 35. Oh, and he gets surprised by a beater. Takes the forward pass. But the pass is too high. Germany's chaser wasn't ready for it. She doesn't get to run in. She gets piled into the ground safely, but uh, she's not getting up. There's a little bit of a dog pile. She's holding on. She's holding on. Germany have an opportunity here to take advantage of this. 
Well, no one's taking advantage of this. We're just playing the clock at this point. It's the snitch is about to come on. It looks like they're happy to let that quaffle stay on the ground. Huge bludger play. Both seekers are down. All bludgers are out of the field. It looks like the English seeker will be in first. He gets the first choice, first attack. Doesn't find an option yet. Quaffle's back up in the... Oh, very close, very close. We feel like we heard it there. Ball comes across to Twist. Twist finds a hoop. The beat is all out. Big beat there on the uh, English seeker. Number 23. 90 all. This British seeker, English seeker, looks dangerous. Oh, but Becker has one on one time. Becker is one on one time with the snitch. He goes for a big dive, he doesn't succeed. See, the snitch getting pushed, he's on the ground, he's almost in the German keeper zone. Meanwhile, the quaffle is going. Huge scrap in the quaffle. She's, they're not getting past this player. The ball goes loose, it's gonna go to Germany. Bludgers are just on the ground. I'll make it bigger. Uh, do you wanna see it? Why? To get oh no, this this is the same as you. I just made it smaller. I can't see it. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, huge tussle here. Snitch is not caught. That is a no for the snitch. Min, hello, hello, hello. I didn't see you there. What an intense match. Huge bludger plays. They're getting a bit messy though. I think the bludgers are, get, are, are losing their uh, accuracy here. Oh, that hurts. Ball goes straight into the hands of the uh, English racers. This is so close. This is so intense. There's three very different intense games. Both beaters are out in the center. What bit of one-on-one -on -one time. No, it's not. Another beat on the seeker. Huge quaffle play, goes back to the Germans, but they're smashing into each other. And there's no one in front of 31. He realizes late, but he's gonna take it anyway. He swings, he's, he's not gonna get that ball out. And that's a huge tussle. Finally managed to get the ball out to number 10. And number 10's got only one player in front of him. Passes the ball. And they find the hoop. That is A-OK, -okay, Min. Wowee. England is one-on-one -on -one time. Oh, he's so close. Oh, he's so close. Just one after the other with these seekers. All right, you've now got your second commentator in. Mish, welcome back to your oh, own stream. Back, back to my own stream. What a hell. Oh, and Seb dunks it. Move, move over just a smidgen, just so he can see. I don't want to block you out. Whoa. This is fantastic Quidditch here. Like, look at that crowd. It is, it is incredible. It is amazing. The score is 100 to 110. This is so close. This is what you want to see Absolutely. at a grand final, at an international Quidditch level. Like, Mark, how do you think the game's been going so far? Incredible. Uh, it just, it's just, it's so fast that you can't commentate it. There's three different extremely intense, maximally intense games going on. All right, which one? You watch what? No, I'm going to watch no. Quaffle. I'm going to watch okay, Quaffle. Okay, you watch Quaffle. I'll kind of keep my eye on the snitch. Uh, Beautiful we, we passing do, from We're going to have a broom sound in a second because uh, one of their seekers is down. Oh, um, big behind injury. contact. They're going to call that. So we're going to have brooms down. There's good, probably going to be an injury sub here. Um, oh, look, looks oh, like... oh, everyone got... Oh, everyone the got ref excited. accidentally pulled out his red card. Everyone Yay. got excited. The yellow's coming out, though. It looks like... Oh, timer. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Yep, thank you. Let's get the timer going. 
And luckily, I have uh, I have the official, official time. time. We can. This is what I love about this uh, program. We can change the time when we need to. Don't click start yet. Um, but yeah, this is this has been really good. Thank you again so much to all the supporters back home in Australia. Um, I got messages from people. I had I didn't realize that so many of you were still up watching us. Yes. Like, jeez, guy, like, they, like the, point, man. the support has been absolutely real. It's been amazing. It's been so good to see you all. Absolutely. I, all this clapping is for you, right? <laughs> all this is for you guys. Yeah, this is this been great. Um, really good energy, really good vibe. Um, I just noticed that half of the um, the English team supporters don't have shirts on. No. So, um, it's all right. You can barely see them. It's shirt. fine. This is family but, friendly, like, but it's far away. We actually had some supporters for our game. We yeah, had, I absolutely. noticed we had Jandals up there on the... Um, Jandals rallied all of Team Scotland for us. All of Team Scotland. Uh, even in this current game, Germany versus England, we have some Australian like people who have played in Australia. So we're going back straight to the live stream. They've called... Well, we've just got a goal here. Sorry, we might not miss that. But that was a goal to the German team. 100 to 120. He's got it. I'm, go I'm watching Germany the favour. Huge beats oh, here. Oh, that was... Almost had a little finger touching the, the snitch ball there. And Seb Waters sees his opportunity. He's going to run it down. He doesn't find an opening yet. That incredible defense from 31 in Germany. 44 comes out. Oh, the pass does not find anything. It passes the restrictor. Germany almost collects it. He does collect it. And there's no one in his way. That's oh, and he goal. scores. That's a beautiful goal by Germany right there. And that is the all-important 30 points. And the whale seeker is going for the snitch. He's oh, he catches! He's he catches! Oh my god! He catches! He's got it. Wow! Can you, but Stop keep them. in mind. Keep going. Keep in keep in mind that goal that was just scored. This has been neck in neck in range all game. That goal right before the catch brings it to 30, which means this is not a winning catch. This is an overtime catch. I can uh, see it, TV Laurie getting the cup ready, but I don't think the game's over. I, I don't think the game's over. Like, I couldn't see anything from this angle. Um, the snitch was turned directly towards the crowd. Um, there, was no, there was no falling from the snitch. There was no other beats or plays on the snitch. He went straight for the snitch, but he's caught. Looks like he's caught. Okay, they've caught a goal. Good. But snitch catch, no oh. good. So the catch is no TV good. Laurie. So if the, if the goal is good here, the ball will go to England. the England keeper. Having a timeout. So I reckon at this point in time, both both teams will most likely be talking about the vibes, the feel, you know, their strategy moving forward. The target score is now 160. The, the yep, so actual score is dead they, they've even. They've called it good. They've called it good. So the first and, team to score three goals wins. That's that's all that matters now. So in the snitch game, um, if the if the team who's down catches the snitch, they put an extra thirty points on the board as the target goal. In this situation, both teams are on the exact same uh, points, so it is literally whoever gets first two, three goals. This is a very intense game. Time it doesn't really matter, but we'll try we'll try and keep it going. I was it's, like, uh, certainly I was like, interesting. Oh, 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 I'll, I'll, I was just going to say, I'll keep an eye on the snitch, but the snitch is gone. The snitch is gone. Well, once the snitch is caught, the snitch is out of the game. Right, English I've got a great pass from Andy Hull. Andy Hull has come to play in Australia before. He Passes sure it off to number 20, Tracer there. They're playing a 2-2, two -two, so a box attack or box offense. Gets oh, up and the goal is called goal. good. The goal is called good. Germany will look to... To compose here, really. I don't, don't forget, in this at this point of the game, in the uh, snitch overtime or the overtime, there is no clock. We are running the clock for you, but there is no pressure to actually score quickly here. Yes, Fox breaks are on, but the, the, they can they can spend as much time as they yeah, want. Yeah, so it's safe plays as much as you can. Germany should be. We expect Germany here to be looking for bludgeon control, not for. So take your time. Take your time, save the ball, draw out a beater. And it looks like England are not taking that bait. They're not spending their bludges at all. They know that what Germany's doing right now cannot score. They're too far away from the hoops. They're right on, the, they're right on their own hoops. All of their players are at the defensive end. 
This is a very... Um, Germany number 10 can't find any distance. It's a very characteristic defense from uh, European teams. They'll often yep. keep their players on hoops. You can see Andy Cull, uh, who's the chaser there, just got his hands. He's got his hand to it. That is the, that is the defense they're looking for. And he's away. He's going down the field. Tackled by the German keeper. And Pass it off. And it's good. The goal is good. That is one more goal needed by the English team. Here we go, Brooms down here. Uh, we'll keep the timer running. There's no, there's no, there's no use um, with the timer now. We can keep the timer running. Oh, it's gone again. We might as well keep the time. We'll keep the timer running for you guys, just so you know exactly um, where we're up to in the game. But the clock at this point doesn't quite. So we're currently at 150 to 30. So England, if they get. One more England goal. need one more goal to win. Germany still need three goals to win. So England just got that score. So the ball is currently going to be with the uh, with the German keeper there. So he's got the ball. He will look to compose. They'll look to score off here. Uh, they've got two subs coming on. They've got uh, three subs coming on. They sub to keeper and two chasers. Fresh legs. They'll try and move the ball around here as much as they can. Move away from that static. Uh, yeah. Classic European defence. So you see where they, they sit chases on hoops. So I'll look to move away from that. Yeah, look uh, at this. This is much wider now. This is much Only wider. one player in the in the hoop. A big oh, shot. And that's a goal. That is a goal. England immediately looking to follow up with a bludger attack. They're not going to succeed. Berger burnt it back to hoops. They weren't able to run him down and disrupt his bludger. Still, if they score here, this is Hole game over. Hole pass with the ball. He's looking. He sees Twist down the back. Great beater play there as well. Oh, great catch but he from the beater. Need it. Don't need he it. He does need it. The ball gets the 13 from England. She's not nice seeing any play. passes. She's got she can't see Hull. Though. At least she's got safe. Yeah, Hull beautiful. Hull the pick. Give nice him the space. Hull. A good choice, good choice. Hull is going to make another attack. They've got There's beaters. no beaters in the defence. Beaters are on. There we go. Oh, England and scores. The scored by Andrew Hull. The goal is scored by Andrew Hull. The, the beaters were completely out of play just then. Both beaters on the ground, unable to get possession of that ball. They they, they were basically taken out of the game. Absolutely. There was two two hoops left that he could have scored on. Took a step, passed it straight through that middle hoop. Uh, everything looked good for mine. And Mark, did you see anything that, that could have been contentious? Okay. I think... I think if I were to analyze that and say what could Germany have done better in those last final moments, there is a world in which their beater recognizes that they're stuffed, dismounts themselves so their partner can take immunity down the other end of the field and send a bludger back. Yeah. You're not going to get it immediately, but you don't have a bludger immediately Here we go. anyway. We got the call here. So Beautiful! It called. England, and England have won the 20. 20 European Games Quidditch Championships, the last ever international Quidditch tournament. It will be known as Quad Ball after this. England have won. Germany will take home the silver medal. We can see the IQA has already walked over there with the trophy. This is great to see. Like They will look to, as you can see, they're, they're celebrating. They're taking it all in. They've got there, the ref team's walking off, they've taken it in, they'll compose themselves and they'll come through and they'll shake their opponent's hands. But great play from both teams. Like, Mark, that, that, that was incredible. Absolutely. We'll have incredible. By the way, hello to Zeta Poffin. Welcome back. Hello to Captain Plainard. Thanks for sticking with us. What an incredible match. Absolutely, no doubt, absolutely worthy of being a grand final match. What an incredible, oh, just incredible showing from every single player on the field. I, there's, there's nothing to highlight because how can you hold any one thing above everything else? The bludgers were insane. The quaffle play, incredible. Wow. I did notice, I did notice that uh, England would tend to score off maybe three different things. That dish at the left side of the hoop, sorry, sprint to the left side of the hoop, Dish to the right side of the hoop for a for a pop into the goals, or sprint to the hoop, pop it high for an alley oop. Those are the two big ones. They also had the reset long throw to the player behind the hoop. Those are their three biggest, uh, three biggest ways that they ended up scoring. 
Uh, and of course, those are, you know, those are very, very well executed, high skill execution, so it's very hard to stop that. Uh, Germany, how did Germany score? Ooh, I, there was a lot of variety, I think. I didn't pick out any specific thing that they were doing that was always the thing that scored for them. Uh, mainly, it was driving through and getting really messy on the hoops when the, ble when the bludges were disrupted. Uh, they had a couple of big shots which connected, which was really impressive. Absolutely impressive. Oh, and look at England there. Over there. I love it. Um, it's, it's taking it all in. We will try as much as possible to get more of this going. We only have, unfortunately, 10% battery left. We have drained our power on both the computer and the battery pack. But we'll keep this going for as long as humanly possible. The medal, the medal presentations will happen at the social later tonight. So there'll be a proper medal presentation. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be... We might be able to live stream it. Um, we'll have to see. Well, because we'll be in mm. the pavilion. We might be our live absolutely, stream. Absolutely. We'll keep an eye on that. But this this is great to see. You can see the English team just really celebrating there. Like, they played so well. They really deserve that win. I mean, there are a lot of teams here who could have, have deserved these kind of wins. I think there's, there's a lot of really high-quality Quidditch. Quidditch? <laughs> we can say that to the end of the weekend. A lot of really high-quality Quidditch here been great to see all around we've seen really good games all through extremely elite level like not just the semi-final and grand final yeah, but all, all through we've all seen through. it in the stage matches the playoffs the play-ins the quarterfinals semi-final grand final um, and the bronze medal playoff like it's just been all the way through it's been amazing to watch quidditch at this level mark this is my first time watching it live at this level and it's just it's it, it is feels, on a, it, it's, it's on an it's on another like it is. It absolutely just, is. It's it's really exciting to see. When you're um, sitting in front of it, you can feel that energy in the air. You really feel like you're a part of it. It's not yeah, like I think so. when like, you're watching it online or you're watching the the playback and you want to like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap back and see what happened there with yeah, the rewind. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I uh, oh, uh, got got to my jersey. I got I traded oh, my jersey. Yes, yes um, you got that. Most of done. the most of Australians have been Jay. I also love the. I was like, oh, I was trying to tell them, oh, it's the ugly Christmas. He's like, ugly? No, 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 the ugly Christmas sweater. It's a thing. Um, and then I, and I showed him. I showed him on my phone. And I thought he was saying whoa about the um, the Christmas sweater, but he's saying whoa about my, uh, the flip phone. my, my, fi my flippy phone. But um, yeah, thanks to Norway, we had a great game in um, yeah, the bronze medal match. Got my jersey um, from one of the Norway girls. I had to, sw I had to, I had to shop around. I'm too oh, yeah. small. I'm, too, oh, yeah. I'm really small. I actually have to ship it to the guy over in... Um, over in um, Norway. Yeah. So when we get back, I'll order another jersey and ship it over to him because <laughs> my, my streams are just too small. You can walk past that.